Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So, got an unboxing video for you, and this is a real steel fixed blade. It is the Hunter 165. This is only the second real steel knife I bought. Um, the only reason I know about this is Stasa the other day did a shorts video on it, and I thought, man, that's a cool little fixed blade. I like. I've been getting into carrying smaller fixed blades, so I want to try to check it out. I want the Blade HQ says out of stock, nice, you know, all the dealers, distributors, they're out of stock, or a couple of places I found, um, these things are like 50 bucks, twenty four fifty on Amazon, that's where I got it, and when I purchased it, it said, only two left now when I I checked this recently and it doesn't say that anymore but yeah real steel the only other real steel I have is the G5 Metamorph and this was a deal exclusive I can't remember where the Tanto blade flipper back flipper instead of front flipper check the action out it just floats down. But yeah, here's the box. Real Steel has a pretty nice box. Open it up. That's how it is. Got a little baggie here. That's the belt belt clip. We'll check that out. Um, nice wrapped up in tissue paper. You get a nice little cleaning cloth. And this, yeah, it does. It does say real steel in the bottom. Um, some paperwork. Actually, it gives you directions on how to mount the, the clip. That's cool. If you can't figure that out, you got directions. So, nicely nicely wrapped up here but yeah small fixed blade i thought it looked pretty cool and the only one i could find the only color i could find was this blue and kind of kind of okay blue i don't mind mind that at all i like the the g10 scales the blue and the plastic sheets are kind of Plasticky looking, but yeah, not bad. Wow, good re good retention. Um, there's the knife. I like that blade shape. Kind of reminds me of the Zula. Um, not bad. That's. I give four finger grip on it. My pinky is kind of off the scale. I do the the tang here. Not bad. You got a finger groove up here. Good good decent jumping up on top. Um I don't know if you can see. It says real steel long there. And the back has a real steel logo, Hunter 165 and 12C27. 12C27 is the steel, which is an okay steel. It's like the steel on an open house. Pretty much the same. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, specs. Some specs. I'll have to measure the blade thickness and everything. Six and a half inches overall length. Blade is 2.75. Sandvik 12C27 steel, nice drop point, um, full flat grind, stone wash finish, um, G10 handle scales, different kind of hardware, pretty cool, I don't know if you can see, looks to me, this side, it just takes, um, Flathead screwdriver. Let me grab something. 
flathead screwdriver and this heart utility knife should be about the right size um, yeah that's a just a flathead screwdriver that's pretty neat um, yeah it says it weighs 7.2 ounces I cannot believe that that's no way so just dump dump stuff off my shelf okay so only the knife 3.2 sheath 3.8 the little buckle or belt loop got 4.7 total yeah that's with plastic bag and everything so not bad not bad weight does not feel heavy um, blade stock blade thickness is 0 0.13 so not bad thicker than some thinner than some um, but yeah says two two point seven five for blade one two yeah almost I can see that overall one two three four five six six and a half handle from here back you're gonna have one two three one two three three and three quarter um not bad i can get i get a full grip on it four fingers comfortable in hand um hit the handle thickness right there the scales is about 0 0.51 um, not too bad handle height is about 0 0.94 let me double check yeah 9.495 almost an inch tall so not too bad nice nice feeling in hand um yeah you get good purchase it's it's not so thin and small that it's gonna twist in in your hand um yeah lanyard hole obviously it is full tang 12c 27 you know i got open l's i'm pretty sure that's what open l's are made out of and they work great you know easy to sharpen they last plenty long time so i think it's going to be okay um the sheath looks like this injection molded plastic nothing special but that clicks in there really nice little, little rattle little movement um but yeah i'm not gonna worry about you're not gonna have to worry about coming out um check this out real fast i think i'm gonna like this i think it's a good size um holy cow my fingers get my fingers to work today oh my god there we go fingers don't want to crop or eat hey what's this I oh I think you can put that in somehow slide that in yeah you can open that up you got a narrower belt you can put that in close up the gap make it tighter on your belt that's 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 neat um my belt's gonna fit just like that 
You got the Chicago screws and a couple rubber spacers. And yeah, so it'd be like, how would I do it? I guess like that. So you need the rubber spacers to fill in that gap. That's what they're for. Um, but I put it like that with the screws on top. It'll raise it up higher, better concealment. Or you can flip it around, have it down a little bit. I'm not sure which way I'll do it. Um, definitely horizontal. Um, vertical, yeah, you could do it. And these two holes, just like that. So horizontal or vertical carry. Uh, the only thing with these I do not like, it's like the the clips on a CRKT Mimulus. You have to thread your belt through it like that. I, I like something that I can get on and off my belt while undoing my belt. But I did find... On Amazon, a couple of soft loops and even blue. You can get them in blue, so I'll probably get a soft loop um, or two. This might might require two. Um, try that sometime. But yeah, good retention, nice. And it got a little jumping up here for a thumb push off. Yeah, I'm digging that. Um, some size comparisons, because this is not a big knife. Compared to a few. Um, how about the Yessi Azula? All around great EDC knife. And it's got a taller blade. The real steel has a taller blade. Uh, but about the same profile. Because it's taller, you got more of a belly. Um, handle, definitely the handle's just a touch longer on the real steel. I like I like EDC and the Zula. Um, minimalist, another cool little knife. Definitely a lot smaller. You can see the difference there. Definitely. It's a lot bigger. Um, real steel or the cold steel mini Pendleton Hunter. Overall length, they're they're pretty close. Um, yeah, might get just a little more blade on the Pendleton, but not much, not much. Yeah, the cold steel is definitely a little bit longer, a lot thinner, um, artisan sea snake, S oh, not, not, not as big, big as I thought it was going to be, they're also pretty close, yeah, that, I thought the sea snake was going to be a lot bigger, how about what I've been carrying? For a while now is the buck 630 pack light new for 2023 um, pretty close actually the buck is a little bit longer you line them up the buck is a little bit longer and this is a nice carry I, I like it I like using this knife the sheath, I'm not digging. Um, got a longer handle. The end of the handle kind of pokes out a little bit. I think this is going to fill in, fill in what I want. How about the Leduc? Leduc's awesome. I've actually been carrying it. and The Leduc's smaller. I've been carrying this as a neck knife because... I stole the clip off this and put on 
the sheath to the Mimulus CRKT Mimulus Katana and that clip rotates awesome clip um, because it's a bigger knife I didn't like that little tiny chintzy thing but yeah I didn't compare them the katana is quite a bit longer that sweep up swept up trail trailing point almost a Persian style and I got titanium G10 scales I don't know which one feels better in hand. Definitely, you know, a lot thinner, thinner in that spot. Not bad. Not bad. But yeah, like I said, the only way I, reason I know about is Stasa, Stasa did a video on his channel short and it caught my attention I thought it looked cool and I think it is cool <clears throat> now I knew that's his channel is the only English speaking channel or video his video is the only English speaking video I can even speak that I could find on YouTube I don't know all the rest was different languages and they're old they're like seven years old so this is an old model Definitely, and I'm sure it's discontinued, but I think it's going to be the ticket for me. I'm, I think I'm going to like this. But yeah, I guess I'll do it. Ramble down, just a quick unboxing. My first impressions. I like the G10. I like that milling. Really grippy. Um, but yeah. And, I hate to not carry the buck, but I'm going to try carrying this. And, um, this is definitely heavier than the buck. The blade stock handle, the thickness of the stock is quite a bit thicker on this. But yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. Do the usual like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, and um, till the next video, bye.